This video is going to be all about how we built our strong back and build cradles. A strong back is essentially a rigid frame that provides like a level surface for you to start building on. And then the cradles go on top of this to help support the weight of the boat and provide shape at the start of the build. The steel for the strong back isn't provided as part of the kit, but it is specified in the plans as are the dimensions, and we found it pretty straightforward to set up. We use the same 3 inch by 7 inch I-beam as we did in the gantry build as we still had some scrap from that. But we didn't have quite enough so we had to buy in a couple of lengths at 8 metres. We made all the cuts using a 9 inch angle grinder and with careful cutting and marking it's, it's relatively easy to achieve square corners. square it's to start from so we can measure and get the right length which is nice. Once all the I-beam was cut to length we then laid it out on the floor in the position that we thought we were going to use and we're very careful checking through the plans to make sure that we were giving ourselves enough room from the back wall and also the side walls. Because of the height of the roof in the shed we also had to be very careful that we could still get our gantry over the top of this thing. In the end it turned out we hadn't actually given ourselves quite enough room by about a foot at the back wall which then meant when we were lowering the transom we had a bit of a difficult time. Once everything was double checked we then tacked all the pieces together. We then used the gantry and a digital spirit level to help us get the whole thing level. We went to the lowest corner, lifted up with the gantry, put a packing underneath and then could lower it down and uh, it meant that we could add and take away packing where necessary really easily. Then once that was level, we could add on the build cradles. The cradles do come as part of the kit. Each cradle is made up of nine plasma cut parts, and for us there were three cradles. The cradles are actually something that, if I had my time again, I would do slightly differently. We assembled all the pieces flat on the floor and tack welded them together and then did the full weld out of those parts on the floor, flipping them over regularly to try and stop as much distortion as possible. We then lifted them up, added the other three dimensional parts, added them to the strong back, and then added the stiffeners. Next time I would have added the stiffeners after tack welding all the pieces together on the floor as this would have led to less distortion. It wasn't really a problem in the end as everything came out nicely anyway. It just would have saved a bit of time. I'd like to say a massive thanks to everyone who's been watching along and commenting on the videos and that kind of stuff. It has really helped us with our motivation and it really does make our day when somebody takes the time to write a nice comment. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. You see that's gonna squiff again. <laughs>